Hi there, this is uh, Ron Shook, and uh, the purpose of this video is to explain the basis of microscope use in our classroom. So right here, we've got one of our microscopes, and this is the way that it should be found when you get to your table. The microscope should have a plastic cover on that, uh, and that can be removed. The previous user should have wrapped this electric cord around the microscope that can be unwound. And I'm now going to plug this in. The critical, the critical aspect of a cleanup will be returning the microscope and your table uh, to the way it was when you came in. And that should be clean and packed away. As you may notice, this light is now on, and uh, that is what happened when I plugged in the microscope. Uh, this is called the ocular or eyepiece. Normally, the magnification is approximately 10 times. Um, this part of the microscope here is called the body tube. This silver mechanism here is called the revolving nose piece, and as you notice, this does revolve at the silver part, not at the black. Uh, when you opened the microscope, the shortest of the three objective lenses, which are what these three lenses here are referred to as, the shortest one should have been uh, the setting that the microscope was left at, and you should leave the microscope at that setting when you're done today. Some other parts of the scope this would be called the course adjustment and uh, is where your original focusing is done from. This is called the fine adjustment and uh, is used um, for those fine uh, measures while your eye is uh, viewing the slide. Next, uh, I'm going to clean off my lenses real quick. The only thing that should be used to clean the lenses in our classroom uh, is lens cleaning paper, which is what I have here. Uh, and simply wiping the glass part of the lens. And then coming down to the objective lenses, you're going to have to feel around. The lenses are smaller down there, but you can wipe those off with the lens paper as well. And then just set the lens paper aside as you get ready to begin your work. To know the total magnification, one can look on the objective lenses and can find numbers that are written there. On our microscopes, the uh, low power objective magnifies four times. The medium power objective magnifies ten times. And the high power objective magnifies 40 times. And as we uh, go through our work, the total magnification depends on the ocular times the objective. So our three possibilities this year are 40 times total magnification, 100 times, and 400 times. When you record observations, it is good practice to record what the total magnification is um, that you are viewing. What I'm going to do now is show how to uh, get your side sled up, uh, slide set up for viewing and how to focus the microscopes that we use. So, vocabulary. This piece of glass here is called a microscope slide and will simply be referred to as the slide. This small piece of plastic is called a cover slip and will be referred to as the cover slip. The specimen will go on the slide. Um, today we'll be drawing from a mixture of grass and distilled water to see what sort of organisms were in our grass. And we use a plastic pipette and you will only need about one drop, or maybe if you wish, two or three. But you don't certainly need to put a whole dropper full. 
to spread out or drop just like that on top of the slide. Then take your cover slip and good form generally implies that you come in at a 45 degree angle to catch the edge of your water and then just drop down the slide. And what you will notice is that the water adheres to the cover slip and will hold that cover slip in place. The slide is then placed upon the part of the microscope where the action will be, appropriately named the stage. During explanation, I accidentally ended up on medium power objective, so let's get it back there on our low power objective. This is the way you should start your focus is on the low power. Uh, and this is, um, as you'll see later, a way to protect the high power lens. Then, uh, if you are a glasses wearer, it's personal preference about whether you continue to wear your glasses. My personal preference is to remove my glasses. Um, there are also some personal preferences with keeping both eyes open um, or keeping just one eye open. Uh, I was taught to keep both eyes open, uh, but the reality is I'm usually more comfortable uh, working with one eye in the microscope. The next thing to do before I uh, put my eyeball up to the ocular, I'm going to drop this down, the body tube down, by adjusting the course adjustment. And we're going to drop that down as far as it will go. Uh, with the low power objective, there's going to be plenty of room down here between the slide and the objective. Uh, the one of the reasons we start with the low power is as I switch to medium and then um, to high power, you will notice that, um, that the high power lens is just about in contact with, uh, with the glass slide. So we're going to reverse and get back to our work. So here we are on low power. My body tube is dropped down. While looking in the microscope, I'm going to raise the body tube until I start to see things that look like they're in focus. And of course, this will take some practice. But checking with me and checking with some of the photos I show you should help with that. I'm now in focus at this. I can adjust with the fine adjustment a little bit. And the way the microscopes are designed to work is that once you're in focus, you should then be able to switch to another objective lens, go to the medium next, and you should be in focus or very close to in focus. So just a tiny bit of adjustment. I think for our class, the medium objective lens, the 100 times total magnification, is going to be the sweet spot for you, the place that it is easiest to view specimens. Starting at low power gives you a wider field of view, easier to find things. Um, the 100 will decrease the field of view, but magnify uh, the objects that you're looking at. The high power gets a little tricky. Um, we lose some ability to see fine details. Um, so uh, it's something you can try. Uh, and with particularly small organisms like bacteria, it will be necessary. Uh, but um, it's not going to be the uh, lens that we use mostly. You're going to find uh, that the medium power objective is your friend. So after you've had an opportunity um, it will become time to clean up. Um, the glass slides and cover slips are reusable. Uh, go over to the sink, rinse them, return them to your table, uh, and place them on the paper towel that I'll be providing you. Um, another person can unplug the cord. The cord can be gently round, wound around the base of the microscope like this, which is the way you should have found your microscope. And 
when finishing with any tool, the polite thing to do is to clean up one squirt onto the stage. With a piece of paper towel, you can wipe down the stage. Make sure you're returning to the low power adjustment. A squirt should give you enough material that you can also, we'll give one more squirt right onto the towel, and you can wipe off the coarse adjustment knobs and the fine adjustment knobs. And without touching the ocular lens, but the part around the lens, just wipe that off. And that's a courtesy to the next user for any um, bacteria or microbes that may be on your hand um, or that could have possibly been on your eye. So thank you for listening and thank you for following these directions.